Nice. Disappointing? Yep. Disappointing, yeah, I don't, because he, I know how hard he worked for the fight and yes. I know how much it meant to him, but you know, it's boxing. You win some, you lose some, it is what it is. How did you assess his performance tonight? I thought overall he'd done all right, he dug deep, he showed plenty of art and that, but it just wasn't his night tonight. Um, after two rounds he looked tired and I think the weight's killed him. He's 33 now, so to get down to 12 and a half stone, he's 6 foot 4. It's too much for him, killing him at the weight. Mm -hmm. You can see how gutted he was as well, he's devastated. Oh, he's devastated and gutted, but it's part of boxing, winning and losing. Fortunately, there's got to be a winner and a loser. And that's the game that we've been in all our lives, so he knows what he's getting into. But yeah, he'll, uh, he's got to do what he's got to do, and that's it. Just before you go, I've got to ask your situation about yourself. Yep. What's going on at the moment? Not a great deal. I come up in my Ford van, look, proper jippo. Have a look at it. Don't get me red gin. Go on. No, no I won't get you red gin. Don't worry. You're right. Um, Dylan yeah. White, can Go. a deal be sorted out like ahead of all this arbitration stuff with White with WBC? I don't, I don't know. Like I, I thought that I was going to be fighting Dylan White. Um, and then obviously, he's, I don't know what he's doing in his own private life with the WBC. Got a court case going on, which kind of shitty really because I know how long arbitrations go on for because it took 18 months to get mine sorted with Deontay Wilder so I hope that he doesn't get caught in the long grass and I hope I don't have to fight somebody else like a voluntary or whatever but um, it is what it is whatever whatever's going to happen will happen and I don't care because they're all only workouts to me I'll destroy every man that comes in front of me as I've been doing my last fucking all my life but it doesn't matter if it's Dylan White yeah. Dylan Blue or Dylan Grey I don't care who it is. But for you, it's about progressing your career, not waiting about and seeing what happens. Yeah, exactly. I'm not that. interested in waiting for other people. I've got to do what I've got to do. I'll be fighting in February, <coughs> early March at the latest. I'll be defending my WBC Championship and that's it. Did you ever consider not fighting Dillian White? Not fighting him? Yeah. Did you ever consider that? No, I would. And I'm doing an easy fight anyway. So yeah, he'd have been ideal really. I need a heavy bag on legs is what I'm after to be honest. I need him in the ideal candidate to be fair. But you know, I'm sure that he's got his own legal situations going on and they need to sort that out first. But you know, I don't care who he fight. I'll take the, the little cruiserweight guy, I'll show you how to give a little small man a good hiding. I'll run him over. He'd be look like he's been run over by an 18 wheeler, just like Deontay Wilder, but I'll reverse back over him and then run him over again. So I'll do with him. Too so, small. Tice, how long before you kind of decide what you're going to do then? Waiting around I am for them? definitely fighting end of February, early March, 1 million percent. There is no if, buts, or maybes about it, or I will sack my full promotional outfit and I'll promote myself. Okay. Gypsy King Promotions. There you go. What so, else? So, either way, you're fighting. Either way, I'll yeah. be fighting end of February, early March. Right. That's 100 percent guaranteed. Okay. I know it is, I just don't give a damn, because the outcome's always going to be the same. I will win. And I'll knock a motherfucker out, because that's how we do it now. Detroit, what's up? All right, no worries. Don't let you get off. I've got a big drive back to Morecambe Bay, no five hours. No problem.